Sports Legends joins us right now, Cliff, the best time of the year. We have obviously college football, the cold season getting ready to start, and uh, just kind of your thoughts on the fall. Well, it's a great time of year, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens with IU, an up-and-coming program, Purdue with a new coach, Notre Dame back in the national spotlight. It's going to be a good time uh, if you're a, high, a college football fan in the state of Indiana. Week one, though, for Daryl Hazel, Ugh, one to kind of forget, though, wasn't it, Cliff? It was a rough one, and I don't know what folks were expecting, but when it's the first game and you're a new coach and you're on the road uh, and you're playing an established program, it can be very tough for you. Obviously, it didn't go the way they wanted, but I can't say that it was completely out of the realm of possibility for let's, what happened to them. Let's take a look at some of the action from Nippert Stadium. They had a record crowd on hand. Obviously, Tommy Tub Tuberville's first game as UC coach. Darrell Hazel's first game as Purdue head coach. Purdue hanging in in the second quarter. Rob Henry getting the seven-yard touchdown run after a great punt that got a flip of the field position. But after that, the Boilers seemed to kind of run out of gas. And I think most disconcerting to Purdue fans is the way it just snowballed. And that kind of happened under Danny Hope a lot. Well, it was one of those situations where, you know, Hazel came in. He was supposed to clean up a lot of the problems that they had under Danny Hope. And what folks saw yesterday was more of the same. And I think that was the most disappointing Part to the fan base, not so much the score, but how it happened. Let's hear from Coach Hazel and Rob Henry after the game. Well, I think it's very important that we, we stay the course and we, we're not going to flinch. We're going to keep, we're going to go back, we're going to go back to work, we're going to stay tight, we're not going to listen to what people say about us, we're going to go back to work and we'll get it fixed, that's for sure. We just have to prepare harder as, as players. You know, the coaches are doing a great job with us and, and uh, you know, it's up to us. We're the ones that go out on the field and perform and we have to play better. You know, typically you try to schedule an easy, easy game for week one. I hate to say it, but I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't I'm believe a, she's saying it either, Miss Temple. A, I'm a Temple alum, and Notre Dame, well, they had an easy transition into college football season this year, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, they did. I mean, Notre Dame really kind of got after them and really threw the ball well. Uh, mixed the run in the past, but really threw the ball well with Tommy Reese and uh, lit it up for over 300 yards passing. So, yeah, a great start for Notre Dame as they – get moving into what should be a very good year for them. 28 to 6 win over Temple and I think the coolest part though about the whole storyline is did, have you heard about the pair of brothers on the offensive line? Let's show you this video and uh, yeah the older brother there is the left tackle and the younger brother Nick snaps the ball to the quarterback Zach and Nick Martin. They're local guys as well and they really did their job yesterday protecting the quarterback and letting Tommy Reese do his job. Well, absolutely, and uh, you know, Purdue's gonna have to deal with Notre Dame here in a few weeks. Uh, they've got a lot to clean up before they get to that point. Uh, you know, they've got uh, Indiana State coming up this week. Uh, that'll be a good battle for them, and then we'll see what happens with Notre Dame. And let's hear from head coach Brian Kelly. A lot of good things happened in, in, um, in our opener against Temple, and we, we look to build on that. We're gonna have to play better in all phases uh, against Michigan next week. Uh, but we're going to enjoy this victory today. And our kids uh, will uh, we'll get back to work on Monday. All right, two weeks, West Lafayette, Notre Dame at Purdue. He is Cliff Brunt, IndieSportsLegends.com. Quick plug for the website. Well, you know, we cover all the colleges in the state of Indiana as far as the major division ones, uh, Purdue, Indiana, Notre Dame. We also cover Butler basketball. Uh, we've got Doug Griffiths, he's up there covering Notre Dame for us. Chris Goff covers Indiana, and I do most of the Purdue coverage. So we try to keep it balanced all over the state. All right, thank you, Cliff. As we go to break, let's take a look at the action on the College Gridiron coming up next weekend. Games you can follow, of course, Indiana taking on Navy, Ball State against Army. A couple of games we'll be looking forward to. More high school coverage coming up after the break on Fox 59 Sports Overtime.